Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Moving right along. By the way, just because I have my own product line out, that doesn't mean I'm gonna disappear. I'm here to stay. We're gonna move right along. Uh, I will squeeze a couple more videos um, going deeper into some of my products, but right now uh, I'm excited to look at Jeskar's new products. We're all familiar with Jeskar. Uh, Jeskar Power Lock. Well, this is a new version. This is Ultra Lock Plus. We also have a tire and trim coat and a um, harsh cutting compound, sort of like an extra cut. We're going to take care of diving into all of these. Let's start with the Ultra Lock Plus. Jeskar Ultra Lock Plus, a new ceramic polymer infused sealant. And this kind of reminds me of Power Lock Supercharged. Uh, guarantees an ultra deep wet look. Finally, a decent day in the Northeast to bring out one or two of the toys. So the C3 is going to come out for a little TLC. And with the classic and antique cars, you don't want to give those a foam bath or introduce them to free flowing water, especially from a pressure washer or a bucket wash. So rinseless washing is the way to go. No need to test those seals. Nice enough experience. A couple of pea-sized drops onto a slightly damp microfiber spread out onto the panel. Um, it's viscous, but uh, I had no problem whatsoever spreading out uh, the product and getting an even layer on the panel. You do want to let this sit and dwell for 30 minutes, so just keep going around the car. You could probably get around the whole vehicle uh, in that 30-minute time period or window and then start to wipe off. It'll slightly haze over. Let me get you a better view so you can see just how easy this is to use. Circular motions, crisscross pattern, it really doesn't matter. If you're working in a clean environment and you have the surface properly prepped, just get it on the surface and spread it out. The product can also be applied by machine, and I recommend uh, a polisher with a short throw, 8 millimeter. Grab a black application pad and you'll be around the car even quicker. Removing the hazed over residue from the sealant is no chore at all. You're going to start to feel that slickness creep in right away underneath the microfiber towel. The gloss, the slickness will only increase in time. There is no mention of a cure time, by the way, but 
I will let this sit overnight uh, before taking it outside and introducing it to rain or free flowing water. This thing never sees the rain anyway, but if you're applying to a daily driver, I would keep that in mind. from the C3 to a test panel. And as I mentioned earlier, any surface you're gonna apply this to, do the proper prep to get the most out of it. And that includes this test panel in front of me. Uh, if I'm not gonna do this the correct way, it would be a waste of your time. So I put the time into the preparation. Now we're gonna put the time into application. I'm gonna let this cure overnight, uh, probably 24 hours before I test it, uh, just to make sure, as I mentioned earlier, really nothing found about cure time if there is if you guys have come across anything just leave us know down in the comments section That's all there is to it. Can be layered. Uh, again, I'm going to let this sit overnight, probably maybe even more than 24 hours or so, till I get back to the panel. Right away, you'll notice the slickness. Compared to the rest of the panel, it feels like a huge difference. So let's break out the blocks. And uh, as we just put a slight angle on this door, you can see it just leaves the test area and then sticks to the rest of the panel. Okay, gloss. Uh, the test panel here, when it's perfectly clean, starts out at about somewhere around 88 gloss units. And we have a nice jump. Not the highest on the channel, but anything in the mid-90s or higher is impressive. How does it do against heat? We're going to concentrate heat in one tiny spot here with this heat gun. We'll exceed 260 degrees and see how it holds up when we start to introduce water to the panel. Uh, we're going to remove the masking tape and look for the jetting effect. Does it make the panel, or the area anyways, look darker and richer? It's slight. I can see the outline. I'm not sure if you could pick it up through the camera. This protected here beads, I'll show you that, and you can obviously see where the protected area is on this panel. Next, the 10 wash test. I believe it'll take a heck of a lot more than 10 washes to put a dent in this sealant. So let's move on. 
I want to wipe off any moisture so our next chemical we introduce to the panel here which will be again Citral 266 uh, will get direct contact to the seal and will not be diluted. So far, so good when it comes to chemical resistance. You can see where the sealant is actually beating Citral 266. We'll let it dwell for about three minutes or so, rinse it off, and then we'll wash it with the shampoo, make sure there's no residue, and we'll just do this over and over until we see a difference in protection. It'll normally go, most of these products, it just normally goes from uh, beading to sheeting. Uh, it doesn't mean the protection's gone. There still could be UVA, UVB protection, and some uh, chemical resistance as well. It just means whatever they put in the formula to make it, uh, give it that crazy, high contact angle beating or fast sheeting uh, just dissipates after taking a beating like this. And now we've gone from beading to sheeting. It's sheeting fast, so you still, you can see the outline. There's protection there. Uh, but yeah, quite impressive. Okay, that's gonna bring us to the final thought segment of this video. The Jesscar Ultra Lock Plus, a ceramic polymer infused sealant, which would be their power lock on steroids. Uh, gives you the boost in gloss, incredible slickness, uh, durability, and I had a great experience with it. I will put a link down below if you're interested in looking into it more. And when it comes to a rating on the channel, uh, we're gonna give this in between impressive and very impressive. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, I appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next video.